guys, this is Chris again, coming at you with another video. Today's video is a unboxing. This is not, uh, now let me go ahead and say this is not my watch. This was kindly lent into me by Bob Bunny Tyler. The watch in question, of course, as you know, is an Omega Aqua Terra with wristwatch check. I am indeed wearing my Omega Seamaster. Just for a comparison, but this is the Seamaster, the Aqua Terra. I've never tried one of these, and first impressions so far, this thing has been wearing really, really well, and it seems to be a really versatile watch, but we'll go to the um, desktop. This is going to be a quick video. We'll go to the desktop, and I'll show you the uh, watch in question. Here is the box that came with it. He lent in the uh, box with it as well. I've never really seen one of these boxes before, but from what I, uh, my research, it looks as if this is a box that would have came had it been serviced. Because there is no original box or papers with it. This is an older, old, indeed an older model of the Aquaterra. And nothing too fancy in the inner box, of course, as you can see. Just the Omega there. And then here is the watch in question. He got the black dowel, the coaxial. Of course, as, he, as you can tell, this is the older version, as Clyde had pointed out to me. Um, the older version had the date window at the 3 o'clock, whereas the newer versions had the date window at the 6 o'clock. Now, what year? I'm not sure exactly this, what year this is from. Like I said, overall, first impressions on this watch is definitely really well made, just just like my Omega. I'll show you what it looks like side by side next to my Omega Seamaster for size comparison. I believe these are 38 millimeter. And here is a side by side size comparison of the Seamaster and the Aquaterra. Again, this is the black dial. This looks like a pretty versatile piece, and I'm not 100% positive, but I believe this is the original band that came with it. I think they had an ostrich band. Of course, you can see they added the Omega buckle on there. There's a quick shot of that Omega movement. But overall, like I said, pretty killer piece, pretty versatile piece. My first impressions are I really dig this. I really kind of, I'm glad I got to see this, but kind of not because this is another one I kind of want to add to the collection now. Because this, again, you could dress this down, throw a bunch of NATOs and everything on it so far from what I've seen. Do a little bit more research on this. Now we'll have a full review. Here's what it looks like on my 7 half inch wrist. Works pretty decent overall. Pretty comfortable. I had to take the band down, down a little bit further here, as you can see. But wear is pretty comfortable overall, and like I said, great everyday wear. It seems like it would be both a sporty and a dress watch at the same time, but definitely digging this watch. This may be one on my to-get list, as you know I like versatile watches. I appreciate Tyler for uh, lending this in for a little bit. Like I said, look for a full review probably in about a week of this. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments if you haven't already. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. All right, peace.